Hello and welcome to Prime News. Now look at the headlines. Government submits list of 627 alleged black money account holders abroad to Apex Court. SIG to probe account holders. Status report by November 30th. Dual citizenship issue reaches centre. CM meets Rajnath and Sushma. Consul General of Portugal says pre-1961 born Goans isn't a deemed Portuguese citizen. Captain of Port suspends all activities of water sports boats in Goa. Captain to scrutinize licenses of all boats. Parulekar assures strict action against operators. Konkan railway track isn't fully safe for rail passengers. Alert comes from Commissioner for Railway Safety. KRC employees demand suspension of KRC MD. And Sporting Club de Goa start Duran Cup campaign with victory. Boima's Brace takes Plumbing Orange past United Sports Club. Now the news in detail. The centre handed over the list with 627 names of alleged black money account holders to the Supreme Court. List was submitted in a sealed cover on Wednesday. Attorney General Mukul Rotagi informed media that the Apex Court has asked the status report by the end of November. Court has set the next date of hearing on December 3rd. Probe should be complete by 31st March 2015. Goa-based minor Radha Timlo's name has figured in the list as of now, along with the other company directors. SIT will open the field covers. The SIT will thereafter see what they have to do and they will then proceed in accordance with law to sealed cover me sari list jo hsbc ki france ki sarkar ke dwara mili thi wo list jisme 627 ya 28 naam hai wo aur uska ek status report jo har account ki ki gayi hai aaj tak sit ke under wo bhi ek status report sealed cover me pesh kari gayi deadline Deadlines for completion of all investigation and assessments under the Income Tax Act in all these cases is 31st of March 2015. Goa's dual citizenship issue has reached to the Union Home Minister and Union Minister for External Affairs. Chief Minister Manohar Parikar and NRI Commissioner are in Delhi. Minister has asked the Home Secretary to look into the matter. Parikar also held a meet with Environment Minister Prakash Zavadekar. Meanwhile, newly appointed Consul General of Portugal in Goa said that Goans born before 1961 cannot be called as Portuguese citizenship, even if they have Portuguese passport. Chief Minister Manohar Parikar held a meeting with Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh, Union Minister for External Affairs Shushma Swaraj and Union Home Secretary Anil Goswami on Wednesday. Parikar discussed the dual citizenship issue with the Union Home Minister. Home Minister has now asked the Home Secretary to look into the matter. Goa Home Secretary Krishnamurti, NRI Commissioner Wilfred Miskita and NRI Director Yudi Kamath were also present for the meet. Parikar also met the Environment Minister Prakash Zaudekar. Sources say the meeting lasted for almost 45 minutes. Meanwhile, newly appointed Consul General of Portugal in Goa said that Goans born before 1961 cannot be called as Portuguese citizens even if they have acquired Portuguese passport. It depends on a lot of process to be a Portuguese uh, citizen. The issue is that by default they become citizen or no, 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 oh, absolutely no, oh. not, no, absolutely not. The Portuguese law says that people born before 61 can apply, but they have to fulfill certain factors. It's a kind of document. Okay. It's a question of documents. So by default it doesn't no, of course oh. not. What signals the completion of the process of national? Well, the citizen with when we have the identity card. Identity card, billet, billet, billet. Cartão cidadão. So we didn't entitle that you are Portuguese. 
The passport is just a document that entitles you to travel. Senior reporter Lokik Shilkar with video journalist Dinesh Karpe for Prudent. Captain of Ports has suspended all activities of water sports boats in Goa. Captain will scrutinize licenses of all the sports boats. This is in wake of three Russian tourist drowning case at Kangini. Tourism Minister Dilip Parulekar has assured strict action against the operators as the sports boat was operated without license. Meanwhile, the JMFC court of Kepe has granted two days judicial custody to Gaj Pandu and Nobi Barreto in tourist drowning case. I license. तेंचे बोटी सारकी असा ना किने असा यो कॅप्टन ऑफ पोर्टन बोवा बसता साधारण 33 पॅसेंजरांक तेंच्यानी बोडो नाडा पशे म्हणजे जितले त्या पैकी तेने जे डॉक्युमेंट दिले तीन बोटी पैकी दोन जे डॉक्युमेंट बोटी जे ए वॅलिड असले लायसन्स आणि तिसरी जी बोट असली पय तेने लायसन्स दुसरे तिसरेच बोटीचे दिले पय हे दुसरेच बोटीचे आणि वर्तना जी बोट रजिस्टर ना लायसन रिन्यू करू ना ही बोट तेंच्यानी वेली ऑपरेट केली आणि ज्या वेळा कणगिनी बीचार जेव्हा ते देवताले त्या मोठे लहार येऊन ती पलटी पडली सन नसताना त्यांच्यानी जे बोटी चलवल्या एकूच बोटी एकूच बोट दोन बोटी असले तातून काही ऍक्सिडेंट झाला पण त्या सगळे डॉक्युमेंट बी असले पण ही बोट जी एक्झॅक्ट ही झाले ऍक्सिडेंट झालो ते बोटी त्यांच्यानी टुरिझम डिपार्टमेंटाकडचे रजिस्टर ना हे असे मला सांगले गेला जर ते तसे ना झाल्या कडक ते कडक We caught up with the captain of ports, James Praganza. He said all the activities of the sports boats have been suspended. The licenses of operators will be scrutinized. Ask all water sports to stop hmm. until further notice. Hmm. And uh, we are going around inspecting all the vessels right from north to south Goa hmm. on all the beaches hmm. to make sure... all the uh, the vessels are in order and we are likely to have a meeting with all the inter departmental meetings and I also call the stakeholders to to you know to enlighten them on uh, and to make sure that they don't uh, repeat such things in future so now you are suspended all sports activities that is correct meanwhile kepe jmfc court has granted two days judicial custody to the accused boat operators Gaj Bandhu and Nobi Barreto in the Kepe Russian tourist drowning case. The water sports has come to a grinding halt across the state in the tourist season, following fiasco by the state agencies themselves. All the boats will remain docked on the shores till a total review. Bureau report, Prudent. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned.